Hey, YouTube. Happy Friday. Well, I'm here to co cover the world premiere of the, the gentleman's panel. Did y'all catch that last night? All right, haters. See, they already saying, oh, Timothy, why are you getting involved in that? You know you don't like Jay Wilson. You know, you know, you. why are you even looking at his channel? Oh, listen, these people make a living criticizing everyone else's work, being critical, particularly of these panels lately. They've had so much to say. And of course, I'm going to cover it if I want to. And that's what it is. I want to. Okay. So this is the gentleman's panel convened by Mr. Jay Wilson. Y'all already know I don't like Jay Wilson. He annoys me. Uh, I find him irritating some of his views. But I'm going to try to keep my prejudice to myself. Well, I'm not really going to try, but um, let's try to be fair and balanced. Fair and balanced news. <laughs> A song, I mean, a, a banner comes to mind. What's that thing when uh, Armand Wiggins, when he first begins his show, what, what's that called? When he first began it, and he says, Be original, bitch! Oh, I shouldn't emphasize, emphasize, <laughs> bitch. Be original, people. Okay, so this is not original. People have had panels before. I'm not going to hold it against these people. Apparently, Jay Wilson got his essence check, and now he went out and bought some new equipment and or some new software or apps. So first, he graced us with uh, these, these uh, church sound effects, which is right out of the book of, of uh, King Jives. He's been buddying around with King Jives because he's going to make an appearance at, at his, at his, in his town over the holiday. So now he's apparently, probably he's gotten information from King Jives about how to get this sound effect thing with the church people and the clapping and the hallelujahs and all that. So he, he continues to make fun of the church, but that's up to him. He got that. And then the following day, he came out with this panel. Now he's very, been very critical of the panel people, you know, the mother folks. I never even watched it, but, uh, I mean, panels are not, it's not all that. It's not really stealing because they've been done many, many times. But I don't think he knew how to, to uh, organize the software or the app. So, this first panel uh, speak, uh, started by Jay Wilson. Panel includes him, himself, James uh, Colwell, QB of the Midwest, Deshaun. Okay. So, you know how I feel about Jay Wilson. James Caldwell, I have no pr problem with James Caldwell at all. In fact, he's one of the people that I, I would respect, even if I didn't agree with something like Darla. <laughs> Darla in, uh, Darla in, uh, Queen Sugar. We, we starkly disagree on that, but even if I don't do disagree with him, He's a good guy. So uh, my respect for him would be that even if I didn't agree with him, I would still respect that person. Okay. So the other person is QB of the Midwest. I've heard the name here on YouTube, but I'm not familiar with that person. He was uh, for the whole for the whole panel off camera. So I guess he was at work or something. And he couldn't really get online. But I have no opinion about him. Deshaun is a person I've only become aware of because of this, this Washington, D.C. thing with Wally and his crowd. So I think he's a moderator for Wilson. All right, that's the panel. <clears throat> now, do I think the panel's a bad idea? Nope. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good idea because it takes some of this Negativity. One thing I, I noticed about this is thank God James Caldwell was there because he was able to steer Jay Wilson away from this petty uh, ju judging people the entire time. Every time Jay Wilson said something, it was about someone's situation. He wanted to talk about homeless people. Jay, uh, uh, James Caldwell did not, not find it amusing, so he stayed silent. He wanted to bring up uh, Sean Bradley. 
uh, James Cobell was not interested in having that conversation or that uh, he was not interested in participating. So he stayed silent again. My point is that he had to continually stay, stay silent in order to move the conversation away from this pity uh, soup that Jay Wilson was trying to stir up. Okay, Jay Wilson was talking about people's homelessness. He wanted to talk about their, their, their blinds in their house, why people take pictures, like many things about their, people's living situations. Jay Wilson is just a square. He's a square person who doesn't know anything about people. Because I mean, for him to think that it was something funny about homelessness and people's situations and their living conditions because they're, they're, they're somewhat less than his, it's so childish, it's so Trump-like, so Trumpian. So, uh, fortunately, Cobell was able to give us some balance there. So he did, didn't go down these avenues of just constantly talking about people, talking down to people. The only one Cobell has an interest, uh, uh, had co comments about negativity is about this girl um, who he's beefing with, Miss, uh, what's her name? Fly, Hottie Fly. Well, they're in the middle of their beef, so it's, it's not surprising. But Jay Wilson went right over his head. He didn't even know what the hell he was talking about. He listened mostly to himself. Okay, and so what I was going to say about this panel deal I think it's kind of, it's, it's, here's another reason I'm glad that Cobell was there, because it, it's problematic for me to see four adult men online talking about women, talking about their makeup and their wigs. I just don't get, I don't understand. I mean, we all know that many of the, the uh, content creators are gay males, who have a predominantly female audience. Female audience. And so these people seem to think that they're positions where they can just go up there and just talk about women. I don't think it's, it's, it's right. Now, since Caldwell does uh, uh, female impersonation and so forth, he was much more, more uh, he understood a much more about what women do, what they wear, what looks good, what doesn't look good. I mean, he's in that business. So for, there again, we had someone stopping this this unrelentless putting down of women about their wigs. And, although Cole, I mean uh, J, uh, Jay Wilson should, should be able to talk about wigs because he's been known to wear one himself. Uh, so there was some balance there. So my suggestion for this thing, I like for them all four to be on camera. And I'm not saying I'm going to watch this thing a whole lot, but I'm I'm covering the world premiere. <laughs> yes, and I think they should try to go swing up, have people there that can have a conversation above people's lipstick and their eyeshadow and, and just talking about homeless people and that's, that's trash. And so I think that if this uh, Jay Wilson had people there who could elevate the conversation, perhaps he could have a more intelligent conversation. Right? That's, I think that's the key. If he gets a bunch of people on there that want to do the same thing, then you're going to get this this uh, hate soup. All right? So there used to be a group on here for these male bears. I think it's called Male Media Mind. And they were guys from all over the country. But that that was successful. I mean, they, they had a panel for couple of years so it could work could work but uh yeah i i i think that uh Kobe gave us some balance i don't know these other gentlemen enough to know their, their hearts I, I already i already know what direction uh wilson was going to continually try to take the conversation down into it was very obvious and thank god that this other guy james Kobe. i'm just talking about the ones i know they able to steer him away from just petty, putting people down, talking about people's houses, talking about their apartments, talking about their hairline, talking about, just talking about people. Just, he's, he, anyway, I don't want to go there. Anyway, I want to suggest to you guys, <laughs> make your own decision. I don't know if this boy bought him a, a machine or simply an app to have these this kind of panel. But yes, we could use a little bit of cut on that on that uh, Wilson personality. 
that part will work. Now, if you only get somebody on there, I mean, regular people is fine. You, you you get used to people and so forth. But I like to be able to see the people so I know who I'm talking to or listening to. That's kind of my take on this. Uh, uh, that that is not the Queen Supreme Court. <laughs> this is the gentleman's panel. Let's see uh, how this works out for them. I'm not going to uh, hate on this situation. It, I think it could work. I think we need more personality to override some of uh, Jay Wilson's uh, inclinations. It seems to be in him. He just can't help himself. He wants to go in there and just talk about people, put people down, put himself up. That's that's his thing. So maybe we can water it down a little bit and people here might be a little bit easier to watch. Okay, there's my review of the gentleman's panel. The world premiere.